He has no control over that thing. <laughs> he needs insurance, I tell you. Hi guys, today we're going to do a review on the brand new Motocaddy M3 Pro DHC trolley. What he said. So this is it, the new Motocaddy M3 Pro trolley. Yeah, it's the DHC version, which stands for downhill control. Yep, we've also gone for the upgraded battery, which is the 36L Ultra Lithium. Yeah, I don't know why you went for that. Yeah. yeah you don't want to be left on the course, do you? No. no. Okay, should we take a look at the features? Yep, let's take a look. Straight away, as you'll see, the screen is crystal clear. Yeah. Really easy to see, even in thing, direct sunlight. Yeah, the only thing is polarized glasses can be a bit of a nightmare, but it's not the trolley's fault, is it? No. So as you can see on there, top left, we've got time, underneath round time. In the middle is your speed control, which can be adjusted with the dial in the middle. The flashing P stands for part. Yep. You've got round time in the right. You've also got lifetime and drive distance and in the middle is your battery life how much is left wheels they're reversible now this is really handy for putting it in the boot and you can remove and reassemble like so but also if your battery was to fail on course if you pull it out slightly that's locked in and now it will free wheel so if you run out battery power you're still good to go right so your trolley should come like this all you need to do is unlock this one here that unlocks and then at the back you unclip the two and then grab the handle and that will lift into place and then you lock them back once you've done that Take the battery, insert it in the hole. You've got a black and grey socket, so you can't go wrong. Push down, you're good to go. Let's get this bag on this trolley. Yep. Open up the brackets, top and bottom. Yep. You should have a cross on the bottom of your bag. If not, it will just sit on the bottom. We've also got this adjustable green notch here. If you hold them both in, it will let you move it to where you want. You can pull the strap around and then you've got the black piece of plastic and it just notches around. Job done. And to the bottom. Now we have to use the lower strap on this bag as it's not got the easy lock system. If you go for the motor caddy cart bag, you will not need that lower strap. No, but it will take pretty much any bag, won't it? Yeah, pretty much any bag, yeah. yeah. As you can see, it's really simple, really quick to get your bag on there. It's on there as well, isn't it? I mean, it's not going to move anywhere. You no. Give it a shake. It's not going anywhere. It's solid. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. So we just found a steep hill. And we thought, now's the time to try out the DHC. So we're going to get up to the top and uh, let it free wheel down. Yeah, show you how it works. What do you get with the DHC? Well, it's downhill control, Ted. Yeah, I know, but what else do you get? You get the rubber tyres, don't you? You get different tyres with the DHC from the standard. Yeah, also, and thing to point out with the DHC version, when you're setting up your trolley, the DHC version, you can put the wheels on any way round. Yeah. On the standard version, there is an allocated left and right wheel. Yeah. Right, so we're at the top of the hill now. To give you a bit of perspective, there's mine down the bottom. So, is this what's it supposed to do? It's supposed to maintain speed on the yeah, way down. Yeah, it's just going to keep control by slowing the trolley down as it's going downhill. What if you set it to? So we set it to speed three. I'll walk next to it. Okay. Let's see how it works. It's as you can good, see, isn't it? yeah, it's well controlled. Now, if you had the normal version and not the DHC, what you'd find is as it's getting further down the hill, it would automatically speed up. Yeah. I could let it whack into his m7 but i'm not gonna 
there you have it. It's it's worth the extra money. It is more expensive, but without doubt, it's worth the money, isn't it? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Definitely. Hey, hey! He is lethal with this trolley. He doesn't have hey. any. He doesn't have any <laughs> control over it. <laughs> he I'm needs insurance for that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's try out the distance control feature. Hold the middle button for two seconds. It should then flash ADC. And in the right hand corner, you'll see the number five. That is your distance in yards. So use the dial. We're going to select 20 yards. Press the button, and it should stop in 20 yards. It best do. That works a treat. It's so much easier to use than I thought it might have been. Yeah. Um, like I say, the screen is absolutely crystal clear all day. Can't yeah. fault it at all. One thing you have found though, haven't you, that would have been nice is the anti-tilt bar. There isn't yeah. one, is there? No. I mean, you've got it on your M7 because it's the remote version. Where are you going? <whistles> whee, whee. Yeah, so the anti-tilt bar would have been nice. Yeah, I do find when you're going up a steep hill, obviously the front wheel lifts up. Yeah. It would have been a nice feature, maybe having the anti-tilt bar on one of these. Well, the fact that you've got downhill control, so it controls it going downhill. You know, if you let go of it going uphill, you know, potentially it could tip. Look at that for you. Cracker. So the battery's done really well. Yeah. You say you went for the Ultra? Yep, I've gone for the Ultra 36 hole battery. It is available with the standard 18 hole battery, and don't get me wrong, that is more than adequate. It is, but I know why he went for the 36 battery. Yep, because I wouldn't hear the end of it if his keeps on going through the day and I've ran out of charge. I would be laughing, I wouldn't stop. Exactly. Right, so you may have to set the time in your trolley because it doesn't connect to your phone or anything. It's pretty simple. Even a dummy can do it. All right, hold the right button down for three seconds and then the minutes start flashing. Now the left button will put the minutes up, but if you want to go over to hours, press the right button again and now we can adjust that to whatever we want. So we want that 15, don't we? When you're finished, hold the right button for another three seconds and it'll lock it in place. Easy. So if you want to put this into competition mode, pretty simple. All you do is take the two buttons, press them down for three seconds together, and that puts it onto competition mode. And what is competition mode? It will basically disable the distance control feature. Okay. So it's competition legal. Right, any top tips from us? Yeah, warranty. Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah. Everyone forgets to do it or just can't be asked, which I get but I think it's very important. If you don't fill it out, you'll be sorry when something goes wrong, if something goes wrong. Which it probably won't, but yeah. it's better to fill it out. And the other thing is charging your battery after every use, isn't it? Yep, after each round, get your battery on charge. That's what uh, Motor Caddy recommend anyway, isn't yep. it? Yep, and also, when you get this thing out of the box, get it on charge straight away, as it can take up to like seven hours to do a full yep. charge to start off with. Yeah. But yeah, apart from that. It's a bloody awesome trolley. Right, conclusion, what do we think of this trolley? Well, I think this trolley is an absolute belter. From taking it out of the box, initial setup, using it on course today, it's been so easy to use and actually easier than I was expecting. Without doubt. Build quality, second to none. They've not skimped on any materials. It's very robust. This trolley's gonna last you many, many years, isn't it? It is indeed, Jeff. Yeah. Also, you can buy accessories for this from drinks holders, GPS holders, and umbrella holders. Yeah, I personally would say go for the DHC model. It is more expensive, but it will give you that extra control going down hills. Yep, totally agree. Is there anything that could improve the trolley? I think if they had the anti-wheelie tilt bar, um, like the M7 trolley, that would be a nice feature. 
maybe for future generations. Yeah. Um, also, if you're spending, let's face it, it is more than a couple of quid, isn't it? Yeah. It's not a cheap trolley. If you're spending a, a few quid on a trolley, it'd be nice to get that travel bag included. Yeah, totally agree. It Small makes bike. it a lot easier yeah. lugging it in and out of the car boot. Without doubt. Other than that, this trolley is a top-notch trolley, isn't it? This is why Motorcaddy, in our opinion, is the leading brand for your electric trolley. Without doubt, without doubt. I think that really wraps it up, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Are you thinking about getting this trolley? Have you got one? Leave yeah. a comment below. Let us know how you're getting on. Don't forget, give the video a like. And uh, check out our other videos. And if you want to follow us, click on the subscribe button as well. Yeah. Take care. We'll see you soon. See you soon. That's it. Boom. Done.